But if you want for the money Do for the show For me to get ready Now go, can't go But don't you Step on my blue suede shoe One thing about Elvis is He was authentic He was the real deal Honey, lay off of my shoe And don't you Stage appearances are when he would go on tour. You couldn't help but fall in love with him. Don't procrastinate, don't articulate, girl, it's getting late. You just sit and wait around. Hey, a little less conversation, a little more action, please. He just seemed to have it all. He was every general soldier. He was every son to every mother. I mean, he just connected. He connected. Well, that's all right, mama. That's all right for you. And no one was as connected to Elvis as his wife Priscilla. That's all right. That's all right. She was with him for the best times and witnessed the devastating lows. Now 40 years since Elvis died, Priscilla is celebrating their life together at their home, Graceland. It's not never. Sharing her most precious memories. I walk in that front door. I just feel his presence here and this being the room that he would play gospel music in. I'd sit over here on the couch. I had him all to myself and uh, listening uh, to his music. I liked all different types of music when I was a child. Well, Lordy, 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 Miss Claudia. Country music and gospel and rhythm and blues. To me. I was influenced by all of that. Well, please don't excite me, baby. I know it can't be me. I, I look at some of these photos and my dad had that haircut. Yeah. Because every man wanted to be like yes. Elvis. Yes. I might have even had that haircut. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he set the styles for a lot of things. For fashion, of course, his haircuts and, and his smirk and his high collars. Those and, eyes, look, he's and a the handsome eyes. cat. Oh my goodness. Elvis switches to a new beat. Elvis's attraction to Priscilla was immediate, but their love story was unconventional. He was the superstar who had been drafted and sent to an army base in Germany. Priscilla Bailieu was the teenage stepdaughter of a US Air Force major. They met at a party. Do you remember the first time you laid eyes on him? Yes, I do, very much so. I was only 14, actually only three months into 14, and um, visited him at his home. Because he was a superstar. Of course, my God, he was a top of And he was 24. Game. He was 24 years old, yeah. What were your dear parents thinking to allow that? My parents were a nervous wreck. Elvis came in full uniform, which my dad liked a lot, <laughs> and um, shook his hand, and they started talking right away, I mean, for an hour, and I'm looking at my watch, he's taking up my time. <laughs> But yes, they were nervous. And I think it was when I told my parents that they had to let me go or they would ruin my life. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. After a seven year courtship, Elvis and Priscilla finally walked down the aisle. Then along came daughter Lisa Marie. They were the most famous family on earth. Love me tender, love me true. Thank you. Never let me go. You have made, how dear, my turn blue. <laughs> and I love you so. We see him performing on stage with Love Me Tender. I mean, he spent more time kissing women in the yes. crowd on the lips than oh, he yeah. did singing. I yes. mean, was that difficult to watch? Um, yeah, because they'd start showing up after the show. <laughs> I <bet> they did. <laughs> kind of hanging out, <laughs> waiting around for possible more. <laughs> but if you're going to start a rumble, don't you try it. After four years of marriage, Priscilla decided she would no longer put up with his infidelities. Well, I'm evil, so don't you mess around with me. You know, he wasn't faithful. Not that he had someone special, but when you're in the entertainment business, there is always that. And I try to 
to turn my back to that. But I just didn't want to share him. Simple as that. As much as he wanted to be married and have a family, I don't know if he was ever cut to be married because I don't think he could ever, ever be faithful to one woman. Even though Elvis and Priscilla were divorced, they remained as close as ever. There were other women, but Elvis never remarried. We never lost our friendship and care for each other. He would call me at night. I really valued his calls. I valued him telling me, you know, what was wrong. And, and I haven't really said this because I, I, I value his trust in me so much. But living a lifestyle of rock and roll, it's difficult. It's, and especially rock and roll, because it's that old saying, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and it is, it is there. He was living that life. They all yeah. did. Uh, yeah, Straight vodka, like about three minutes. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. The life took an enormous toll. Close friend Jerry Schilling saw Elvis's decline firsthand, fueled in his final years by an addiction to prescription drugs. He had to numb himself to go out and do some of this stuff that he did not want to do. It was a really rough time. Time goes by. And when I saw this CBS special that they filmed six weeks before he died, and I was watching it in my home that he had bought for me by myself, I cried and then I got angry. <laughs> Could anyone have saved Elvis? I need your love. No. Only Elvis could save Elvis. After recording what would be his final television concert special, Elvis returned to Graceland. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Less than two months later, pandemonium has broken out here on Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis. On August 16, 1977, he suffered a violent heart attack and died. The world is shocked by Elvis Presley's sudden death Thousands of fans from all over the country are converging on Graceland, trying to get in to view the body of the 42-year-old king of rock and roll. You never thought of him passing away because he was so strong. This you can believe, I will never leave. He would sometimes check himself into the hospital because he wanted to get away from everyone. Uh, he didn't want the demands. He didn't want, you know, the phone calls. So you thought it was one of those times. Well, no, he can't be. He can't be. He's, this is a joke. This, this cannot be. Don't. It was shocking. Like, like to the world, only a million times more. During his short life, Elvis had made and spent a fortune. When he died, his estate was on the brink of financial collapse. Priscilla was advised to sell Graceland to pay taxes and bills. She refused and, with the help of friends, opened their home to the public. Did you think anyone would come? No. <laughs> no, never. Never. Elvis would never, ever have believed, you know, that that's his home is now a museum, but would have loved it and would have probably been, as we say around Grace, in the first tour guide, because that's <laughs> the first thing he did, was show his place. Train Graceland is the second most visited home in America. Only the White House has more tourists. Graceland is really the statement of him making it. Because he was frightened he was going to be forgotten. He's yes. not going to be forgotten. Yes, he was. His thing was, I can't be a 40-year-old singer doing rock and roll on stage. He was already thinking that. And yet he was still very, very popular back then. And I don't think ever in his wildest dreams he could have imagined being this, this successful, this loved, um, still 40 years later. Out there in the dark.
So every dream that I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. I learned very early in life that without a song, the day will never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Without a song, the road will never bend. Without a song. So I'll keep singing the song.